In other news, a group of eight cheetahs has been released into the wild in India, 70 years after the world's fastest land animal was declared extinct in the country. The cheetahs were released into Kuno National Park hours after arriving in India in a special aircraft from Namibia. It's the first time a large carnivore has been moved from one continent to another. But critics warn they may struggle to adapt to the Indian habitat. The BBC's Nitin Sravista has more. India has had a long history of cheetahs. From medieval times to the Mughal emperors, they used to be a royal escort in hunting expeditions. But in the 18th and 19th century, they themselves started to be hunted. One of the reasons given for their extinction. Another reason was that they are animals who are really reluctant to breed when under captivity. It was in the early 1950s that the government of India declared that there are not a single cheetah present in the country. But now there is a lot of excitement in the country. 70 years after they were declared extinct. Eight cheetahs from Namibia have arrived. Eight more are expected to be here from South Africa. This arrival of eight cheetahs has been coincided with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's birthday. But there still are some important questions which remain to be answered. These cheetahs, they were bred and they have come from Africa. They are now in a central Indian park where they will eventually be exposed to more than 150 leopards and bears and all animals for their survival. For now, they have been kept in quarantine zones. They are being monitored by drones. They have radio collars in their necks and there are more than 400 people to watch their movements. But all that only for about 45 days, after which they will be gradually released into the jungle and left alone to fend for themselves. The big question is, will this cheetah, which has come from overseas, will survive in the Indian conditions after 70 years? Nitin Srivastava, BBC News, Delhi.